so yesterday we have created a basic program a very simple basic program to display sample output <coughs> what is the transaction code to create a program or to display the existing programs yes see 38 is the transaction code so it will open abap workbench or abap editor here you can create new programs or display the existing programs okay so using sc38 you can access custom programs and uh, standard programs both standard programs are provided by sap product sap okay they are part of sap product when you purchase the product so that those contains all standard solutions standard functionalities if you need a new functionality we can go uh, we can go and create the program here okay clear yes think yesterday we created this program z demo test program so this is the program which we created yesterday so these are all commented lines just to provide few details about the program like what is the purpose of the program what are the inputs required like that you have you can mention the documentation here so these are the keywords what we use in abap programming data data is used to define data objects data is used to define data objects what what is a data object data object is a temporary storage of data in program run type okay so these are the different data objects the first one is variable variable is one data object which is active in program run time which is only active in program run time it can uh, hold data temporarily as long as program is in now uh, execution okay what what can uh, what is variable variable is a single value yeah this is a variable for example employee id some um, 100 this is one value okay this, this is variable what is the next data object work area what is work area work area can work area is a data object which can hold a single record a single record in program run time what do you mean by record record means a meaningful information a complete meaningful information which contains multiple fields a single record is called work area this is also one one type of data object work area is like this employee id name
city some meaningful information right this one so we have employee id name and city so this is called this is we call as record okay this is a work area okay this this data object we call as work area so work area also active only at program run time as long as program is execution execute um, like in execution mode so this data objects will be active and it can hold some data okay this is work area what is the next data object internal table what is the internal table so internal table is used to hold multiple records or more than one record in uh, program runtime this is also at program runtime only the memory for this data objects will be available only in the program runtime okay So this is a internal table is a data object which can hold multiple records in the program runtime. Okay. So the memory available for internal table is only at the program runtime. Internal table work area or variable. All these data objects can hold data only in the program runtime we have one of the uh, another data object that is constant constant is all, constant is also similar to variable but whatever the value whatever the value we assigned to the constant for example so uh, this is a department id for example, we assigned uh, some S100. So whatever the value we assign to this data object, we cannot change it. Once we assigned a constant value, the whatever the value in the constant cannot be changed. It is same throughout the program. Okay, that is the difference between constant and variable. So whatever the value in the variable can be changed during program runtime. But whatever the value in the constants cannot be changed. Okay. Clear. So this is the example for variable and this constant is also same. So here, you, uh, if you observe, this is the syntax to define a variable and this is the syntax to define a constant. Okay. And this is the syntax to define the work area and internal table. First, we'll see how to create a variable or constants. Next, we'll go to work area and internal tables. Before that, 
we need to understand the different type of data types because to create these data objects we have to provide a reference for each data object for example if you take employee id what is the data type for this suitable data type for this and maybe in some companies employee id uh, will be like uh, uh, combination of characters and numbers for example tcs 100 tcs 200 like that in that case we have to take character type right in some companies it only accepts numbers in that case as you said we need to take integer type it depends on the requirement depends on the customer requirement we have to analyze and we have to decide the suitable data type for that field okay yes sir now we'll see different types of data types here so first one is c c means character what can character accepts all these values it can accept characters it can accept numbers it can accept special characters so character data type can accept anything any data, any value okay this is the example value okay it can accept numbers special characters and everything okay so length we have to provide the length so what is the expected length for that uh, data object the default length is if you don't provide anything what is the default length this initial length one it can accept one character if you don't provide any length for the character data type by default length is one okay even if you pass all this value it will take only this one last one it it will it can hold only this value okay clear so the example uh, uh, example values for uh, characters are for example city name these are all suitable for characters email id email id also should accept anything right including a special character at the date so for that field also we can take character type length we have to provide what is the expected length of that field we have to provide for example if you take name maybe we need to provide around 40 as a length okay and next thing is number what is number data type number data type can accept only numbers it cannot accept special characters or this letters okay it can accept only numbers even if you pass this value even if you pass this value to this data object which is character type n for example if you are passing this value to the variable which is uh, type n then what 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 it can hold it can hold only 1 2 3 this value it will ignore the rest of the values because they are not numbers okay for number type also default length is only one if you don't provide any length it can accept only one number okay and date data type what is date data type date data type is used to store or handle date values in program run type okay that is type d you don't need to provide any length for this date data type okay uh, just like character and, and number you don't need to provide any length for character and number we need to provide the expected length of that data object so what is the expected length depends on the value for name we may give 40 for email id we may give 50 okay depends on the requirement we define the length for data object for character and number for a date we don't need to provide any length by default it is 8 okay 
and here if you see input format ip means input format internal format that is 8 what is op op means output format when it is displaying okay when it is displaying how we are displaying this character uh, sorry with the 10 10 means including separators if you see here this is the output format that contains separators for easy understanding okay what is the internal format internal date format of sap what is the internal date format of sap in format a Input date format of internal date format of SAP is YYYYMMDD. Okay, that is the SAP's internal date format. Wherever you go, wherever you, you open the SAP system, what is the internal date format that contains YYYYMMDD? Year, month, and date. That is common everywhere, okay? It, it, it's not going to be changed. SAP internal date format is common to every SAP system. What about the output date format? Date month and year. It's a So it contains the separators, okay? It depends on the user settings. For one user, it may display dots for another other user it may display hyphens for other users it may use slashes it's purely depends on the user settings how they want to view in the output okay that will be okay. configured in the system depends on the configuration they can see in the specific format okay output format is specific to user settings but sap internal format is it is universal wherever you go wherever you open the sap system the internal date format should be this one y y y y y m m d d okay internal form internal length is 8 and external length is 10 but you don't need to do anything it will automatically convert into external format okay and time data type time data type is also same like you don't need to specify any length for this Time data type is used to display or handle time values. So the internal length is 6. External length is 8. Again, external length contains separate. Right? But internal length is yeah. always same, 6. That means hours, HH, MM, SS. Hours, minutes and seconds. This is also same. It, it's not going to change system to system. Every systems, this time format is same. HH, MM, SS, seconds. Okay. The internal length is 6, external length is 8. Okay. String is a variable length. F for long text, for example, uh, if you want to uh, enter any long paragraph, for such kind of requirements, we use a string length. It is very similar to character if you observe, right? Very similar to character. But for, so you may ask uh, me, why we, why we can't uh, just use string for everything? Why we need to use character and we need, why we need to define length for that specific data object? That is because if you use a string for all fields, it is going to consume some memory, right? Whenever you define it, when you, whenever you define that data object, it's going to hold some memory, right, in, in uh, application server. Yes, sir. Right? Yes. For every field, if you use string, it's going to take huge memory, unnecessarily, even though you don't require. Okay? For that reason, we use characters for known length. For example, what is the maximum length of the name? 
I defined it as 40. Right? I defined the maximum length allowed is 40. I know, right? I know what is the maximum limit. Right? So I can define that name with type 40. I am limiting it. I am limiting the length so that users cannot enter beyond 40. If you see any application form, can you enter any name with any uh, length? They provide some space, right, for name. In that space only, you have to enter, correct? Yes, sir. Yes. Beyond that, it won't allow. Similarly, we want to define a specific length so that users cannot enter more, more than that. In such cases, we use character type. But for example, there is some field which we don't know what is the expected length of that field. For example, uh, there is a comment. There is a comment section. Okay. I'll show you. name for name i know what is the maximum limit the user will going to enter within the limit only that is some test name of the now beyond this beyond this we cannot enter anything okay because I defined length for this data object. Maybe let's assume it is 40. I didn't count the exact characters, but let's assume this character type length 40. Now, if we take string, when we use string, string is like this. <laughs> yeah. For example, this is uh, this overview. Some some overview. We need to write some overview. One user may write overview in one line. The other user may take two two or three lines, right, to write the overview. Yes, sir. It depends on the user. We we can't predict like what is the maximum. So we can provide the maximum length again we cannot fix the exact length so in that cases we go for string types okay so that they can enter the long text okay Okay, like that for this kind of example data right what is the type we have to take string, string type for this kind of fixed length uh, predictable uh, values for example employee name city what is the data what is the data type you have to take yes. character with a specific length with specific length yes. for example tell me what is the for example we have a data object for phone, phone number what is the type we have to take for phone number? Number, number. Enter. We have to take number, n. Integer is different again. Integer is for values. Okay? Number is not a value, okay. right? Number is not a value. Okay? So, for string data type also, we have to, there is any length, sir. Sorry? When we are using that, when we are using the string data type also. Ah. We should give that link. No, 
we don't need to give any length okay okay yeah that's what i am saying when you can't predict the exact length we go for string data types okay that's okay. a variable length it can, it can it can accept anything unlike character with limitation like with limited length okay but but we are we are going to unnecessarily waste the application memory if you define any data object if you define any data object in which layer it is going to consume the memory like in which layer it is going to store is it in database layer or application layer application layer mm you are right if you define a data object that's going to define here in the application server not in database server okay clear yes sir database server contains only permanent data that is tables application layer the memory of the application layer is only temporary as long as program is in execution once the program execution is completed all your data objects will be deleted all your data objects will be deleted variable constant work area internal table all these will be deleted okay so okay for number postal codes these kind of values what is the suitable data type phone numbers postal code for these kind of values what is the suitable data type number number type. number okay. number number for date and time so we have data types d and t and you know what is the internal date format and external date format and what is integer so integer is for values that might be positive value or negative value integer can accept positive values negative values okay so these are the values that can accept but when you talk about number these are not values okay these are also some data like phone numbers postal codes okay like if you need to take employee id which contains only numbers in that case also you take numeric okay for example if you want to take some count when we go for integer when we go for integer let's say i ask you to count total number of states in country and i wanted to use it in the program what is the data object you have to define for that uh, count to store that count in program runtime what is the data object you have to define that is integer okay for example what are the total number of districts in a state for example there are 23 districts in a state and we are going to store that value 23 in integer types that is not a data right that is a uh, value right are you, are you guys able to understand the difference between uh, 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 for example yeah. phone numbers and values phone number is a uh, data yeah. it's not a value okay mm. but count is a value okay for for uh, counts we use uh, integers okay for example uh what is that what are the total number of records the total number of records is a count for that we use integer okay what are what is the, what are the total number of population in the country for that we use integer okay and floating point it contains again it can accept positive values and negative values floating points and packed decimal packed decimal 
usually we use it for price quantity okay whenever you see packed decimal that is related to price or amount or quantity okay clear floating point this is also a value which we need to convert it later i'll show you how to convert the floating point values into normal values okay what is packed decimal price for example if you want to use a, a data object for product price what is the data object we have to take what is the data type you have to take for that packed decimal packed decimal because it contains decimals also we can we can define this decimal places because values right even if you take any large or, uh, organization even one paisa also counts right yes even one paisa also it makes one crore at the end of the day because they'll do millions of transactions every day right so that's why if you take integer we can't count this we can't consider this decimal places for example 10 rupees 50 paisa like that we can't take it because integer will round it what integer will do integer will round it for example if you enter 10.50 what it will do 11 okay integer will round the value that, that that should not happen right that is not an accurate value right it will automatically round uh, to upper yes. it will show incorrect profits right by increasing yes. the value right if you enter 10.40 it will round into lower value that is 9 again if you use the data object it will show incorrect profits or in maybe incorrect loss it may decrease your revenue for that reason we use packed decimal for uh, prices or amount or quantity okay quantity also we need to use decimal places right yes 10.50 kgs okay 10.50 lbs like that in centimeters also height weight everything we need to use decimal places to measure the exact value okay so hexadecimal hexadecimal is like uh, uh, coded value for example the decimal value is 100 the decimal mean for what is the what is the hexadecimal value for 100 64 okay similarly for every value there will be a hexadecimal value for 100 64 is the hexadecimal value for 1000 hexadecimal value might be different to store those hexadecimal values we use x type x okay clear yes so frequently we use character type number type date time integer packed decimal very frequently we use okay 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 so we'll see examples on how to define data objects using different types of data types okay now go back to the sap system are you all clear about data objects yes sir, yes, sir. so what is the statement to define a data object what is the syntax or what is the statement ABAP statement to define a data object data 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 is the statement to define a data object data object might be a variable work area or internal table for constant we use constants keyword so what is the difference between variable and constant the value constant in variable, we can't able to change. Yeah, 
the value in variable can change in program runtime okay we can update the value in program runtime but constants when you assign the once you assign the value you cannot change it it is always the same as long as the program is in active runtime clear clear yes sir so what is a variable variable is a data object which can hold a single value value in the sense single field okay what is a work area work area is a data object which can hold a complete record in program runtime record means a meaningful information with multiple fields right clear So a, a work area can contain one or more field, one or more fields. Okay, even the work area might contain only single field. Please remember. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is not necessary to have multiple fields in work area. Work area might also contain only single field. Okay. Okay. And internal table. Internal table can hold. Uh, multiple records when you need to hold multiple records in program runtime what what type of data object you have to use internal, internal table table internal table so is this data permanent whatever the uh, data stored in the internal table is it permanently storing in the internal table no the data is no, active sir. only in the program runtime once the program execution is completed all these data objects will be deleted okay for program calculations in, uh, so to calculate the data or to apply some conditions on the data we maintain the data in this data objects once we display the output once we close the program all the memory or all, all the uh, data objects will be deleted okay clear We'll create one program to define data objects. So what is the type of the program executable program so here we have different types of programs but if you want to create a program which can execute independently what is the type of the program you have to select executable program okay so executable program can execute independent independently and display the output so click on save this is how we create the program so what is a package it is expecting a package right what is a package package is like a folder where we save this program okay i've already explained you if we use local package we cannot transport or we cannot transfer this program into test server right but if you apply if you assign it to a proper package we can transfer this program into test server for now i am selecting local package click on local object your program is created so by default you can see this commented section where you can provide details of the program I'll, I'll give some details of the program what is the first statement of the program reporting report should be the first statement of the program okay now what is a statement to define a data object data yes first we'll see how we displayed the data uh, yesterday mm. test name now i created some code save the program 
what is the what is the next step syntax check check the syntax and activate <coughs> and activate the program and execute yeah fine it. it will display the output what is this test time this is a hard coded value right this is a hard coded value we are providing some static value here we will handle the same using a data object or variable first we need to define a data object right to use it to use the data object first we need to define it first we need to create some memory defining in the sense we are creating some memory okay what is the statement to define a data object data will give a name to the variable for example lv underscore name you can give any name you can give any name but follow some naming standards so that when i look at it i can easily understand that okay this uh, this is a variable lv means local variable and underscore name name means okay this data object might be created to handle a name i can easily understand right by looking at this name correct that's why provide some proper naming okay again you don't need to give this one if you type something it will create a variable with this name but the, that doesn't look meaningful right yes yes, yes. name or emp name whatever okay type this is also keyword data type what is the type what is the, so what is the, what is this uh, what is the use of this variable why i am creating this for name right now tell me what is the data type i have to use char char type c did i provide any length did i provide no. any length for this value no uh, one two But what is the default length for character data type let's see 40 so i did not provide any length for this i defined one variable lv underscore employee name type c now let's print it instead of uh, static value i'm printing whatever the value available in variable okay execute is it printing anything no no because it is blank we just defined a variable we just defined a variable nothing nothing is there it's a empty space we defined we need to pro we need to enter the value right yes sir how to pass a value to the variable like this employee name equal to in single quotes all the character type data you have to provide in single quotes please remember okay all the character type data you have to provide in single quotes if it is a number type integer or packet decimals you may need not to use a single quotes okay you can just you can just enter like this 100 okay if it is a number type clear now i am passing some data to it now save the program check the syntax what is the status of the program inactive activate the program now let's execute this now what we are doing i have defined one variable and i am populating some value to the variable and what is the next uh, step we are doing what is the right statement right statement is used to print the output in the output okay execute what is it displaying no one which one t it is displaying only t that is this first, first, first letter. letter why why it is not taking complete 
character because the character length uh, is only one uh, initially the default length of the character is only one we have to provide the length how to provide the length we can use length 40 we can give like this length 40 what is the alternative we can also give like this okay within the bracket we can provide length like this clear is everyone clear yes 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 sir now we have provided the length now let's check execute now it is displaying the complete value okay clear yes sir now we'll define one more variable for uh, phone number what is the type we have to use for phone numbers in yes number how to define a variable lv underscore underscore that's it if we just type lv underscore num is it going to define a variable no sir no. Data. 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 data space data 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 data, data. 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 lv underscore num num type n again what is the default length of the number data type 1 1 okay we are how can we provide the length whether it will be length, length 40 10, 10 or uh, yeah. length 10. 10 and again lv lv underscore one number Equal to one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah, zero one. Number. Some number. Now. Right, I'll be under the phone number. How to print this? How to display right. the value inside this variable? What is the statement we have to use? Right. 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 I'll underscore phone number. Phone number. Check this in text. Activate. You cannot execute inactive programs. Programs should be always in active status. Please remember. Okay. <coughs> Now execute. Why it is displaying? Why it is not displaying the number? Why it is displaying? Yeah, there is a P. There, there is a employee. Yeah, I did not. Employee name and phone, phone number. We need to give the phone number over there. Yes. L V N S for phone number. Don't think that these are all very basics. Okay, you have to understand. the basics first that's why i'm explaining in detail okay okay sir so this is the name and this is the phone number okay both are displaying the same line right yes sir if i want to display in a separate line i have to use slash in right statement it will print the value in next line like this okay If we use this slash, clear. What if you want to give it in the third, fourth line, sir? Gap in between them. Yeah, we have gap. We have uh, keywords like gap. We can provide some gaps also. I'll show you. So you wanted to print it in the. I, I didn't get you. Ah, uh, we need to print it after ten lines, sir. Ah, uh, we can provide. We can give gap. Okay. okay. we have a gap statement a space statement we can provide that space okay okay i'll show you that and uh, yeah, there are many options going forward we'll see one by one so now we you see how many variables we defined two two variables we defined now see 
for every statement we are using data right for every variable yes, to define we don't need to use repeatedly we can use a chain operator that is called chain double so, dot this is the chain operator you don't need to use same statement for every uh, data declaration use comma use comma here okay you okay. can define any number of variable like this clear yeah here also you don't need to use a write for everything use chain operator and if Come you want up. to print this in the new line use slash here okay check the syntax activate like this okay now now this is how the program is working right a simple program you are able to understand how we are uh, defining a variable and how we are populating the data to the variable and how we are displaying it right can we see really how it is happening in background can we check how these values are populating in background like for that we can use debugging option for that what what is the option we can use debugging debug option so you can set a breakpoint breakpoint is nothing but wherever you setting the breakpoint when you execute the program the controller will stop there for example keep the breakpoint here you just click on this gray area that's it this is the breakpoint so you are in, uh, you are providing the program a instruction that please stop here and i want to see how it is working okay you are providing that instruction to the program now execute the program i set the breakpoint here just click on it will remove just click on the gray, gray area it will set okay now execute the program double click on the variable how many variables are there two variables right employee name and uh, phone number do we have any value for employee name no do we have any values for uh, phone number no you can see right zero values yes yes so number type contains initial values if we don't provide any value right it will display as zero for the remaining spaces for example if you enter only 100 the remaining it will show as zeros that means if you enter 100 till here it will display zeros and the last three digits will be your value okay now yes here we have four different options f5 f6 f7 and f8 if you click on f5 it will go by line by line each line okay if you click on f8 it will complete the program execution for now just focus on f5 and f8 because f6 and f7 are specific to some functions methods kind of thing okay still we are in a basic please focus on f5 this is f5 first one is f5 last one is f8 f5 will execute line by line i'm click i'm pressing f5 in keyboard or you can also press this one in the screen i'm pressing f5 the controller completed this pro, uh, line execution right yes sir now where is where, where now where is the controller controller is at uh, line, line number 12 10 if you observe this it is populated data to employee name right value is there now go to, now execute f5 again f5 phone number is populated okay clear f8 it will complete program execution at once let me execute again f5 controller moves to the next line f5 for example 
I want to change this value in debugging mode for just for testing. I want to change this value. How can we change the variable value? By clicking on the pen symbol. You can see yes, the pen, pen symbol, right? Click on that and just remove some values. And if you want to change the name, click on enter, change the name and click on enter. Your, your values will be updated. Click on F8. New values, right? So you can use debugging to test your program or to find the issues. For example, if your program is not working properly, if you want to see where it is not working properly, what is the statement that causing issues? You can use debugging option to find that. Okay. Clear. Is everyone clear? Yes, sir. Let yes. me define a constant. What is the difference between constant and uh, uh, variable? Variable we can change. Uh, we can change, right? At runtime. Change at program runtime. The values. But the constant's values cannot be changed. Constant. Let's define a constant. You, instead of data, what is the statement to define a constant? Constants. Constants. Constant. Mm -hmm. We'll give some naming. Because when we look at that uh, data object, right, we should be able to, we should be easily identify, is it a variable or constant? That's why I'm using like this. Uh, I'll use C, C underscore. Mm, name type C I'll give some length Twenty. for constants we should provide a value at the time of declaration only okay that is using value. This is the syntax. Constant, type, data type, value. And we have to provide the value. That is uh, some name. I am giving this value as a constant. Okay. I am also printing this. We have already assigned the value here for constants. At the time of constant declaration itself, we have to provide the value. <coughs> Comma. Provide the constant name and I'll use backslash to print it in the next line. Check the syntax. So I am explaining you the debugging concept because we should make part of your daily activities. Debugging is very important. Okay. If you are in a support project, 80% of your time will be on debugging only to find the issues, to find the root cause of the errors, to fix the errors. That is what support, right? Yes. It will be like uh, if there is any task in a support project, 90% of the time you need to do debugging and only in 5 minutes you can change that code. It will take only 5 minutes to fix that error. But it will take 3 hours, 4 hours, maybe 2 or 3 days to debug and find the issue. Okay, it will take only five minutes to do the code change. That's how support projects work. So going forward, whenever you create a program, keep a breakpoint and execute and you can understand how the program is actually working. Okay. Now, let's keep a breakpoint. Can I keep a breakpoint here at line number 7? 
Can I keep a break point at line number seven? No, it won't take, okay, because it's not an executable statement. Whatever the data declarations are not executable, executable statements. Only these are the executable statements. I can keep breakpoints here. Okay. Yes, sir. Keep a breakpoint here. Also, you can use these options. Select your line. But slow. Now we have three data objects, right? And one constant, right? Employee name, phone number and one constant, that is name. The value is already populated because for constants, we have to assign values in the declaration itself. Now F5, populated the name. F6 populated the phone number. I can change these values, right? I'm able to change this. Can you see any option to change the constant? Value here? No, sir. We cannot change the constants. It is always same. Okay. That's it. If you want to clear the value, I have populated some value and I need to clear that value and populate the new value. How can you do that? We use a clear statement. What is the statement to clear the values in variables? Clear. clear. It's a very general word, right? The syntax is a very general word, right? Yes. To clear, we need to use clear. We are clearing the variable. Now observe how it will work. Employee name and phone number and constant. This is the constant. F5. So we populated value to the employee name. And what is the next statement it is executing? Where is the controller? Controller is at line number 12. What is that Employee. statement? Clear statement. Clear statement. Clear statement. Clear the value. The value is cleared, right? Yes, sir. Yes. F5, F8. No value for name. It is cleared. Okay? Yeah. That's how we can use these basic statements to build a sample program. But, again, these statements are very important. Since we are writing a sample program, it may look easy, but when we are writing an actual requirement, right? There also we, we need to use these statements only, clears, 
data constants along with few other functionalities okay so you should be you should be able to understand these basic statements so we'll stop here and we'll continue the remaining concepts tomorrow in the next session